Today on The Best Years. Discover inexpensive decorating ideas for the holidays and beyond. Staying warm and safe, tips to protect yourself from carbon monoxide. Soak up art and history at a restored house museum in Island Heights. And take just a minute to learn the benefits of having an attitude of gratitude. It's all starting now on The Best Years. From the Ocean County College TV studio, here's Sandy Levine. Hello and welcome to The Best Years. We have a great show today about how to make your life richer, more fulfilling, and more fun. First up, let's join our Best Years correspondent for this month's update. We just, we know it's Jane Maloney, but just give us your title, please. Jane Maloney, Director of the Ocean County Office of Senior Services. Okay, in recent light of the home invasions, uh, I know there was only two that we know of in Holiday City. How can seniors protect themselves? I know people just feel, I mean, this is a day and age where you can't just open the door to anyone. Absolutely, you cannot open the door upon request. But it's, you know, you have to take, um, you have to be responsible for crime prevention. You just can't expect law enforcement or somebody else to do it. So never open the door. Um, never give permission to somebody to come into your house to use the phone. In this day and age of cell phones, that's just really unrealistic that somebody wouldn't have a phone. Make sure the person who's at the door has proper identification. If it's a utility company, they should have the uniform and you should be able to see the insignia on the utility uh, truck. So we're really hoping that people use this information that we have posted. It's not only just at home, it's out of the home. Make sure when you're, all, you're in your car that you have a full tank of gas, your car is maintained so that you don't break down. Always check your car before you get back into it. And if you're out of the home and maybe away for a little while, make, make arrangements that either somebody's going to, you know, keep an eye on your house or you're going to keep the lights on or you're going to do some automatic timers for TVs and radios. So it's really taking your own safety into your own hands. It's common sense, though, all those tips, but we always have to be reminded. You had mentioned something about um, the ATM. You talked to me about the ATM when we were talking offline. The ATM machine? Mm -hmm. Yes. ATM. When, when you're going to the ATM machine, please don't go at a time where, you know, there might be some danger of you um, running into some difficulty. Uh, don't go to an area that's isolated or make sure you're with somebody or that you know somebody um, in that vicinity. And um, if you even if you go to the bank, don't take money out for another person. I mean, that really, that, that situation is um, really ripe for you being scammed. So always make sure that, um, you know, you're checking with someone before anybody asks you to take um, some, type, some type of lottery or you want a prize and this person is going to need cash. Don't do it. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. Good point. Um, so besides the tips, do you guys do, does the county offer seminars or anything or just little classes or a quick lesson for seniors or it's just the reminder? Some of us have it, some of us don't. I'm talking about a knack for home decorating. With the holidays approaching, we're all in high gear trying to give our homes that special look and feel. Kathleen Hauck owns Interior Couture in Tuckerton, and she's going to tell us how to turn drab into fabulous without spending a lot of money. Welcome to the best years, Kathleen. Thank you. Glad to be here. We have a lot of holiday decorating ideas around us, but before we talk specifics, mm -hmm. interior decorating, you've been doing it for about 16 years. What do you have? What gift do you have that you're able to see what a room needs, how to pull it together that some of us don't have? The first thing that I do when I walk into a room is to look at the color to see what coordinates with it. Even during the holidays, although we do use a lot of red and green, sometimes people have mauve, they have other shades of green. So I try to coordinate what I have and what I have around the house in order to coordinate it and also give it a, a festive look. But interior decorators have that skill for pulling things together beautifully which you've done with many of these items on our set. 
Now, Thanksgiving time, what are some simple things that people can do to make the Thanksgiving table more festive? Well, always a centerpiece is always appropriate. Um, as I've done over here, this is just a simple vase that I had around the house. It doesn't cost anything. You can use just about any container that you think is attractive or that you, you, know, you have an eye for. Um, I pulled out the green and the rust tones, and these are just berries that I bought. Uh, they're just pickings at a store. And, and this very, dish here, too, could make a beautiful centerpiece. And I guess depending on whether you choose the orange tones or the red tones, it could be great for Thanksgiving or Christmas? Yes, you can use this for either. Um, during the holidays, you can take out the orange here and the rust tones and you can just go with the red and the green and the sparkles of what Christmas is all about. Uh, you could put a bow around the base of it, uh, berries, uh, twigs, anything you can find in your yard. Now uh, these items you've purchased, right? And where would you yes. purchase? What, a craft store? And a craft store, yes, including the berries and the feathers. All of this is, and they're very inexpensive. They're just little clippings, uh, a dollar, no more than two dollars a piece. I know around Christmas time you like to use a lot of natural products. Yes. Talk about what we have on the set that looks great around the holidays but still has that natural feel to it. Well, our bow right here is very simple. This is, this is artificial but you can also use um, real greenery around your yard if you have evergreens. Uh, just put a simple bow, some pine cones, you can put it under a window, you can put it over a picture frame. All these little items are very simple to do. And you mentioned a picture frame, and tell us about what you created as a tray. Okay, this I actually found. This is, a, this is actually a picture frame that I found in a thrift store. I put two handles on it, and it become a frame. I also used decorator fabric that I had that you know, would be conducive to the holidays, uh, and it is also something you can use afterwards. And you use the tray to serve drinks or appetizers. Really Correct. beautiful little bow. It's the little touches that yes. make the thing special, yes. isn't it? Yes, you can put candles on it, and it would reflect. Because you have the glass, it would reflect and sparkle as well. And what have you created over here using a couple of candles? This is a simple throw that I had around the house. Um, this is something you can also use as a centerpiece, or you can put it out on an end table. Just all you need is colorful candles and, and insert it inside and put a little um, berries, pine cones. But the, but the trick is how you drape it. That's what makes it look special, right? Yes, yes. It's not just flat. You just simply drape it around very casually, and this way you see the curves and the the reflection of the color. And what is it about the holidays that makes people want to just go crazy with decorating? <laughs> Maybe people who don't normally pay attention to the details. Actually, it should be very simple. Sometimes, you know, too much is too much. Um, it's distracting when you go into a home and you see so many things that you don't see the important things. Um, so it's nice to keep it simple, keep it yes. fresh, keep it inexpensive. And you've given us some wonderful tips for decorating around the holidays. And when we come back, we'll talk more about decorating around the homes any time of year. Kathleen, thank you so much for being here. And stay with us. We'll be back in just a minute.